Hi, I'm Rob Ryder. Welcome to Sporty's training program on the ForeFlight mobile app for iPad. ForeFlight has become one of the leading iPad applications for pilots with a nice balance of powerful features, an easy to use interface, and strong customer support. But like any software, learning some key information early on can help you get a lot more out of ForeFlight. In this video, We'll explain how to get started with the app and how to use its main features. We'll also go flying with it and offer some advanced tips for real-world use. If you're not already using ForeFlight, you may want to get the app from the iTunes App Store so you can follow along with this video. The app is free to download and use for 30 days. So what can ForeFlight do? In short, almost anything your old flight bag full of charts and gadgets could do including detailed airport information like runway data, frequencies, FBOs, and fuel prices, pre-flight weather briefings from weather maps to flight plan filing, complete digital charts including sectionals, IFRN route charts, and approach plates, moving map navigation with terrain, obstacle alerts, and synthetic vision, built-in document storage and viewing for aircraft manuals and FARs, weight and balance calculations, flight data recording, in-flight data link weather including radar, METARs, and TFRs, digital logbook with automated currency reports. As you can see, ForeFlight makes a great companion for both pre-flight and in-flight use. You just have to know how to use it. The hazard advisor map overlay is also more useful when using a GPS. This feature, selected from the Maps drop-down menu, adds a terrain warning overlay. Using your GPS altitude, the map will turn yellow in areas where the terrain is 100 to 1,000 feet below you, and red where the terrain is within 100 feet of your altitude or above you. In simpler terms, yellow means be alert. Red means climb immediately. The resolution of the terrain data is excellent, and it's good practice to turn on this feature for takeoff and landing. Hazard Advisor will also color code obstacles, so you know which ones pose the biggest threat. Note that Hazard Advisor requires a Pro Level 4 flight subscription and an iPad 2 or newer. Finally, let's look at the data blocks at the bottom of the screen, what ForeFlight calls the Instrument Panel. If you don't see the data blocks, tap the Instrument button in the top menu bar. The Instrument panel can show a variety of information from ground speed and track to time and route and GPS accuracy. To change any of these data blocks, just tap what you want to change. A menu will pop up with the options. Remember that these require a GPS source, either built into your iPad or with an external GPS receiver. The weather view is a great way to review METARs, TAFs, and winds aloft with all the information presented in both raw code and plain English. If the airport you're viewing does not have weather reporting, ForeFlight will automatically show weather reports from nearby airports. The app will also show a visual summary of weather conditions. Green is VFR, blue is marginal VFR, red is IFR, and pink is low IFR. Dangerous weather conditions like thunderstorms or fog are highlighted in red. The runways view provides a lot of useful information too, including runway length and width, lighting information, and any displaced thresholds. There's also a handy wind components feature that displays the current wind direction and speed, but also calculates the headwind and crosswind components. This saves you from doing the math and helps you determine whether the winds are too high for you or your airplane.